Yo. Hi guys, it is time for May Favorites and I have some beauty products, skincare products, uh, and two little accessories that I'm going to start off with because I kind of have forgotten to include like accessories and stuff in my past I don't just keep it to beauty but I wanted to show you guys some cute sunglasses that I got and I've been wearing ever since I got them I picked these up in LA and they're like aviator style um, with like a gold trim but I love this it's like a mint green accent right there and believe it or not these are from forever 21 they were like six dollars and I think they're so cute I've been wearing them every single day they're one of those types of you know, glasses that you can just throw on and leave in the car, and if you lose them, well, that sucks, but it's okay because they were only $6, so it's fine. Second thing that I have been using almost, ev like, literally I have every single day since I got it is a Rebecca Minkoff Mini Mac, and I got it in the rose gold, and I had been, like, wanting one for a long time, but I guess I just hadn't taken the plunge for some reason I didn't know what color I wanted and when I saw it in rose gold I mean you guys know my rose gold kind of infatuation I was like there's no way I can't get it it's a perfect size um, it's perfect for going out but it's also perfect for shopping because I usually carry like my never full or something and it's kind of annoying because you either have to carry it right here or you carry it on your shoulder and it like hurts your shoulder if you put too much stuff in it so this is perfect because you can just uh, it's a really comfortable strap because this is not this leather part is really comfortable to wear on your shoulder so I recommend this bag if you guys are looking for a really like versatile bag of a bag that will take you from like during the day to something fancy at night as well um, I just love 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 this bag and I'm so happy I got it and I got it at the Nordstrom in um, Santa Monica when I was in LA. It's so pretty. I love rose gold. Let's start with some skincare things also that I've been loving and I have three things. Um, I hope I didn't talk about this in my last favorites video, but this is the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to Brighten and Depuff the Eyes. And that is what that looks like. Um, it is one of those eye creams that I've used and it's just been like instant uh, results like honestly I suffer a lot with like dark eye circles and this I feel like has helped me a lot in getting making the under eye region brighter and it's just a great product it's not too expensive I think it's in the $30 range so and I've been using it a lot and I don't know if you guys can tell there's still so much product and I purchased this back when Sephora had the VIB sale so I've had it for a pretty long time I mean over like I would say that's two months already so uh, I think a little goes a long way with this and if you're looking for a good eye cream for your under eyes well duh eye cream where else would you put it but if you're looking for a good eye cream that is not too expensive and that you want to use it to brighten your under eye circles and depuff your eyes especially in the morning I recommend this ginseng from origins next two items that I have are from a brand called dr. Hauschka and I have the facial toner and also the cleansing milk and I picked the, both of these up when I was in New York back in I, I've lost track of time of when I was even there I would say it was like again a couple months ago and this is a skincare line um, from Germany I think I knew that and I actually picked both of these up when I was in Bendel's and I went kind of looking for like accessories and these this like group of people from Germany were there promoting the brand and they kind of obviously sucked me into buying a couple of things. Um, but it's a great, great skincare line. Facial toner is awesome and also the cleansing milk. I will talk about both of these in my skincare routine, exactly what I do with them. I use this with the Clarisonic. I put this on right after I get out of the shower. They're awesome products. And again, they're not too expensive. I feel like they look so expensive. I thought that this was going to be like $40. I think this was $25. And again, this also in the $20, $20 range. This is the Jergens Natural Glow Face Daily Moisturizer Sunscreen SPF 20 Oil Free. <laughs> I read everything that's on the bottle. But I've been kind of self-tanning my face with this Jergens Moisturizer. It, I love it because it doesn't smell like sun tan stuff. And I got it in the medium to tan skin tones. And I feel like I've been seeing a big difference in my skin. Um, going just a little bit more glowier and a little bit darker without obviously damaging my skin or tanning or anything like that So I recommend this. This is drugstore. I think it was about 
maybe $8 or no more than $10. So I highly recommend this too in case you guys are wanting something for your face and not just your body to um, sunless tan. So moving on to makeup things and the one thing that I've been just obsessed with this entire month has been like everyone else, the Maybelline Rocket Mascara and I got the non-waterproof. I think this is just the regular formula and it is awesome. I'm wearing it right now. I don't know if you guys can tell. Um, honestly, this mascara has worked better than any other high-end mascara I've picked in the last like couple six months. I loved the Tarte Lights Cameras Flashes Mascara for a while and I just lo lost it. I don't know where it is. I haven't been able to, I think I probably left it somewhere. It had a really similar effect to this, but obviously that mascara is like in the $30 range and this one is what, $6? So um, I feel like I have seen mixed reviews about this mascara, but um, I love it. I mean, I think that it's worth a shot in case you really like it like me. I tend to really like Maybelline mascaras. I love the falsies. That's kind of like my go-to, but I feel like I maybe like this a little bit more than the falsies. I think that it makes my lashes longer, and the amazing thing about this is it stays on all day, and your eyelashes stay curled all day. It has awesome lasting power, so definitely check out the Rocket if you haven't yet. Next, I have another Maybelline thing, and there's two of these, and I... Forgive me if I already mentioned this particular one in my video, um, but this is the Cuddler Tattoo and Barely Branded, and this is the one that is beige. I mean, you can see I've already kind of hit pan on that. I use this every single day as my eyeshadow base, and I need to pick up another one because I'm scared that this is one of the limited editions one. I think it is, so I should probably get that before because it's so inexpensive. It works amazing. It works just like a MAC paint pot, and I feel like MAC paint pots tend to be a little bit drying on my eyelid. This one does not. It's very like moisturizing, but it doesn't let your eyeshadow crease at all. I also have the Inked in Pink, and this is a really pretty kind of a pinky, mauve toned, and I'm wearing it on my eyes today. I don't know if you guys can tell. Um, it does not look super pink on the eyelid. I'll give you guys a little, oops, that's, I'm going to flick you off. So it's like what it looks like on the skin. It's such a pretty pink. It's not like a weird pink, so if you can tell, it's gorgeous. If you haven't tried the Maybelline color tattoos, you definitely need to because they're awesome products. Another drugstore thing that I've been loving, and obviously like everyone else, I'm obsessed with the Revlon Lip Butters, but this is the one that I've been liking the most from their new collection. This is the Wild Watermelon, and it's such a beautiful, bright, kind of a reddish, um, but it's very balmy. It's kind of like more of going into the orangey red. That's what that looks like. It's gorgeous. It's not too bright to wear to work. I wear this to work all the time. I think it's the perfect spring, summer red. So um, definitely check out the Wild Watermelon if you haven't. I want to talk about a makeup brush that I recently got. And I was in MAC the other day looking at the new collection and um, my MAC girl Jessie at Nordstrom in South Park Mall in Charlotte. If you ever are, if you're in the area or anything, she's awesome. Um, she showed me this brush, brush, which is the 128. And I think it might be a special limited thing. It is just like a black um, synthetic, I think, brush over here. And then over here, it's like the white one that I think MAC has a lot. I'm not sure. I feel like I'm talking about this completely wrong. <laughs> I'll, I'll link the brush down below. I think Nordstrom still has it in stock. And it applies product OMG. Like, I mean, it is one of the best brushes I've ever used. And I'm actually, do I do not love MAC face brushes. I tend to use MAC eyeshadow brushes, um, you know, just, I don't have any other eyeshadow brushes that I use, just MAC. And I know I talked about these in my previous April Favorites video, and um, this is the Madly Blush from NARS, and this is the NARS Highlighter in Albatross. And so what I've been doing is using the black side to apply the blush, and I don't know how well it comes across on camera, but I've been using the black for the blush, and then the white side to apply the highlighter, and it just goes on flawlessly. Again, this is what the highlighter looks like. I've been using these just exclusively this whole month. I've also been kind of using my Coralista blush, but I feel like I've talked about that before a lot too. A thing that I picked up, it's an also NARS. I've been loving NARS lately, um, and this is something that at first I was like, mm, I'm kind of mad I bought it because it's kind of on the expensive side. I think it's about 50 or maybe a little bit less and this is what the compact look, looks like and it is the translucent crystal light reflecting setting powder pressed 
So it is a white translucent powder and I was kind of skeptical because at first I was like, I don't feel like any product is coming off. So, and I had been using it because it comes in the, with this little pouch and then also with this um, kind of flimsy thing and I've been using it with that and it wasn't until I started using it with like my Makeup Forever Kabuki brush that it started getting the product actually on my face and I've still been using my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder right after I apply my foundation and everything but this is what I keep in my purse every single day because it's so compact and then I just keep it with this and the little brush and I was at an event the other day and I was sweating so much because like the store didn't have any air conditioning and I realized how great the product was because I had applied this right before and I was like I bet I'm a sweaty grease ball and I looked in the mirror and my face was completely matte so it definitely works. Another NARS product that I've picked up is this NARS creamy concealer I'm in the color Honey. Um, and this concealer, I feel like I have a concealer in every favorites video. I'm a concealer addict. I just want to find the perfect one, but this one is as close to perfection that I think you can get. Um, I'm still obviously using what I talked about in my April favorites, which is the Benefit Fake Up. And then I also use this on top. That one's more of like an eraser of your dark circles. This one is more radiant, um, kind of glowy for your under eye area. So I'm using it today. I don't know if you guys can tell. Um, I will definitely be repurchasing this item. It's so great. I think NARS has just been one of my favorite brands this entire year. I love it. So that was my main favorites, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, leave any questions or requests, comments down below. Subscribe because it will make my day. And thank you again for watching. Love you guys. Bye.